The new head man in Champaign, Brad Underwood, replacing John Gross. Illini won 20 games last year. We're on the NCAA tourney bubble. Have some good production back, though they lost an outstanding player in Malcolm Hill. It's a program that has now missed four straight NCAA tourneys. And very pleased to be joined now by Brad Underwood, the new head coach at Illinois, along with Laurent Black and Michael Finke. Guys, welcome to New York. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Start with you, Coach. Welcome to the Big Ten. What made this opportunity appealing for you? One year at Oklahoma State, you had things going, you orchestrated a nice turnaround there. What made you feel like Illinois was the right opportunity? Well, I, I, I had a little time in the state in the, in the 90s and early 2000s, and uh, uh, Lon Kruger, Bill Self were there at the time, and, and Illinois basketball was powerful. It was... Uh, uh, it was special. Of course, they, they made it to the Final Four in the championship game in 2005. But every kid wanted to go, uh, be a part of Illinois basketball. The fans all uh, filled the assembly hall at that time. And, and, uh, and I'll never forget how good the high school basketball was and how good the coaching was. And it left a footprint. And uh, when the opportunity came, it was uh, literally a dream come true for me. And, and uh, here I am. So how do you get it back to where it was? Yeah, I think it's day by day. I think we, we've got to roll up our sleeves. I think we've got to work. I think we've got to uh, uh, get our get our swagger back. I think we've got uh, uh, the best fan base in the country. I think they're they're passionate. The Orange Crush is is like no other. And uh, uh, these two guys are going to be a big part of that in terms of uh, the culture, the, uh, uh, the style of play we play is going to be fun. I think both these guys will benefit from that. And uh, uh, and then we got to continue to um, to recruit and uh, keep the best players in the state at home and uh, uh, you know I think we do those things we've got a great staff it, it'll uh, it'll all fall in place I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the style of play it is radically different so I'll give each one of you a chance Laurent I'll start with you how would you describe coach Underwood's style uh, definitely up tempo fast pace um, uh, what I like about it is, is aggressive I like the aggressiveness and uh, defensively I know we gonna play real aggressive and um, just play hard, and I, I love playing hard and aggressive, so it's good. Michael? Yeah, I'd say it's definitely different than what we've been accustomed to in the past. Uh, in the past, it was more defensively, pack line, letting the ball through, and uh, really just trying to stop the drive as much. But here now, defensively, it's denying, up in your face, not really letting the offense be able to run what they want to run. And uh, it's totally different, but we really like it and really grasping that. Uh, offensively, it's spread the floor out, move out the ball, and... Uh, really just giving a lot of people options to play and just having fun with it. And I think that's something that uh, we're really looking forward to. Now, I haven't had a chance to go to a practice yet, but I understand Coach Underwood is somewhat animated at those practices. How would you describe him? Uh, I'd say he's intense, but it's, it's something that, that we need. Uh, he might yell a little bit here and there, but uh, we all respect it because we know that he and the coaches uh, want what's best for us, and uh, we're, we really expect that. Laron? Yeah, definitely intense and uh straightforward tell you what you need to not what you need to hear um it just tell you how it is and i love it and it's, it's going to be good for us and um helping us get better how does your personnel lend itself to your style coach well i think it starts with michael i think michael's a guy that um i think he's gonna have a great year um he's he's a tremendous shooter i think that uh, the way we play positionless i think uh benefits Laurent as well but uh, i think we can do a lot of things with michael in terms of popping him on the perimeter we do so much cutting and moving and and he's a primary screener and and uh, uh, being able to react off those screens uh is something he can do as he shoots it uh putting Laurent in matchup problems is a nightmare he's uh, i've said it many times laron has been our most improved player since the day i got here uh he's He's shooting the three well. He handles the ball well, uh, and yet he's a, a matchup nightmare. And and uh, uh, we plan on utilizing him that way. And and I think both these guys can have um, great great seasons for us. Give us a sense for some of the newcomers. We haven't been able to see some of these guys, but all Stork and Smith. What should we look forward to seeing? Uh, definitely, they they all work hard. Mark Smith's in the gym 99% of the time. He works real hard. Um, Demonte Williams, uh, he just came back off his ACL injury, and I, I think he he really impressed me the way he's been practicing. Uh, I'm I'm big on rebounding, and Demonte rebounds a lot. He's really athletic, and um, I just feel like um, all the newcomers are working hard, hard workers, and just getting better. 
Yeah, I'd say uh, to go off of that, Mark and Monte brought a lot. Uh, Mark allstork has been playing well for us. I mean, pretty much everyone. They've all brought something to the table and uh, continue to improve. I know all the freshmen since they got here in the summer uh, really worked hard in the weight room, getting weight and getting stronger, and uh, that's really translated to the court. So uh, really looking forward to playing with them more and seeing how more they develop. You lost a tremendous player in Malcolm Hill, and you didn't have a chance to coach him, but you guys both played with him. He dominated this team in so many ways. I mean, he was such the focal point. What's the adjustment been like to not having Malcolm out there? Yeah, I think Malcolm, obviously a great player, top three scorer in Illinois history. So losing that, it's it's huge. But uh, with Coach Underwood and his system, bringing us in, it's a system that favors a lot of people. It's, like I said earlier, it's spread the floor, move without the ball. And there's just so many options. We have plays and counters and then counters for those counters and just stuff out of that. But... Uh, it's, it's really fun, and uh, we'll have big nights from a lot of people. What's a realistic goal for this season, Coach? NCAA tournament. I think this team is a, is a team that uh, I don't put wins on it. I think it's, it's, it's far more important that we get better every day. I think this will be a team that will, will uh, be a much different team January 1 than we are now. I think we'll be a team that uh, come NCAA tournament time will be a lot different than we were January 1. I think that uh, uh, we've got youth. Uh, they're going to grow as they gain experience. I think we've got uh, uh, two great leaders here that uh, uh, will lead us early and, and be the guys that uh, uh, become more comfortable in their roles as well. So, you know, being in somebody else's, uh, uh, the top of somebody else's scouting report. And, and uh, uh, this is a team that, um, you know, I think can accomplish a lot. I love our depth. I love our versatility and it's led by these two. Well, Brad Underwood, Leron Black, Michael Finke. Guys, thanks a lot. Enjoy the season. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thanks.